Ever stare at crypto and wonder if you're about to make the right move? When is the perfect entry? When is the perfect stop loss or the profit target? Or maybe you haven't thought that far ahead. But what if I told you with NNN and OpenAI's latest model, you can build your own AI powered trading assistant. Cut out all the noise. This setup pulls live candlestick data across multiple time frames, scans real time news sentiment, and then lets AI calculate your exact trade setup with the rationale to back it up. In this video, I'm going to walk you step by step on how you can build this AI crypto agent in NNN. I'm going to be using Telegram to communicate with my agent. Let's get started. Plus sign, Telegram. We're going to hit on message. And connecting your account is pretty simple. So go over to create a new credential. Then you're going to open up your Telegram. And you're going to type in slash new bot. Then you're going to title it. Once you're done, you should get a token. So copy that token and then paste that here. Then hit save. Then to talk to your bot, hit that first link in that description. I just went ahead and tested it out. So I typed in BTC for Bitcoin, all lowercase. And as a result, we can see it here. All we need to do is we need the ticker to be in all caps and to have USDT at the end. And we're going to use a code node for that. This is the code node. I'll go ahead and leave it in the description below as well. Or you guys can go ahead and and copy this uh, but i went ahead and executed it and you can see the process message is btc usdt format it exactly how we want it now we need to pull data from binance we're going to be doing that with the http request with the get method you can look through the binance api documentation yourself and find the api endpoint that you want i went ahead and asked claude to find exactly what i wanted this is basically what i asked it and this is the one i want we're going to go ahead and copy that i'm going to hit the plus sign hit http request i'm going to leave it as a get method and there you go and we're going to change this to an expression i'm going to enlarge this because we're going to change some of these variables so i'm going to change this out to our process message and then for our interval we'll leave it as 15 limit we'll leave it as 20. all right let's go ahead and execute this step now we see all this kind of data but what does it mean if we go back to uh claude and you scroll down it's going to give you a little description on what they mean so the first one would be open time open high low close volume so that's basically what all the data means all right let's go back because i don't want to forget and i want to name this 15 minute time frame now that we have this node set up, let's set up the next two time frames, which is very simple. All you have to do is copy this node and paste it two times. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this first one that I copied and I'm gonna change the name to the one hour time frame. And the only thing that you'll have to change will be this. So if we go back to Claude and let's see how we need to format one hour. So available intervals. So we have one hour, two hour, four hours. So you can customize to whatever you guys want. I'm gonna go with the one hour, which is just one eight. I'm gonna leave the rest. And all I have to do is hit this dot right here, hold it and then drag it over just to connect it. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. We're gonna do the one day time frame. Change this to one D. Double check to make sure that was correct. One D. And it's typically cap sensitive, so be careful on that too. But make sure you don't make the same mistake I did and connect it to the wrong node. You wanna connect it to the code node, so just hold and drag. So if we look over to the right side, you can see that the data isn't labeled because once we pass this data onto the next node, it's not gonna know which time frame it came from. So we need to start labeling these things. And we're gonna do that with an edit fields node. Hit the plus sign, type in edit fields. Once you have this open, we're gonna add a field. First thing is gonna be time frame. I'm gonna call this one 15 minute. Then we're gonna add another. I'm gonna call this candles. For the value, you're gonna type in double curly brackets space money sign json this is basically telling nnn to refer to the most recent data set which is all of this here so once you execute it we should be able to see everything accurately labeled okay now that it's done you can see everything here is labeled time frame with 15 minutes and then the candlestick data now all we have to do is repeat it for the other time frames i think we can just copy this paste it two more times then we're going to just rename this to the one hour and then this one to the one day. Alrighty, let's test it out. So we have one hour, very good. And then this one will say one day, perfect. Now what we want to do is merge everything. So I'm going to hit the plus sign, type in merge, and we're going to append three different inputs. Okay, we're going to back to canvas and go ahead and drag those over. I'm going to do the one hour to the input two and then the one day into input three. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this workflow and let's test it out, ETC. ETC. Enter. All right, it's working. All right, now you see we have 200, 200, 200, and it's all been merged with a total of 600 items. Now we want to make this all into one singular JSON output, so it'll be a little bit easier for our AI to interpret it. And I'll leave this code note in the description below as well, but I had Claude basically create this for me. All right, this is the actual code. Let's execute the step. All right, now we have all candles with the time frames. All right, at the bottom, you see the one day, you see the one hour. All right, everything's all there. Now we want to grab the relevant news from news API so we can then feed it to our AI to analyze it. So we're going to need an HTTP request. So hit the plus sign, HTTP request. Now we're going to go to newsapi.com, create an account, hit get started, and we're just going to copy this curl. Copy. I'm going to go back, hit import curl. 
Just gonna paste that there. All right, everything's all pre-filled out, but we're gonna have to change a few things like your API key. So this is just a default one from the example. To get your API key, you're gonna go back to news API and click get API key. Copy that key, come back here and paste that. For this, we're gonna change it to the current time frame. So I went ahead and asked Claude to create a JavaScript expression for today's date minus two days. So let's see if that works. I'm go back here, hit expression. I'm gonna paste that in. Alrighty, minus two days. Current date is the 30th. Yeah, worked out. Now I'm gonna change this. Uh, let's delete this actually and connect it to this telegram. Again, I connected it to the wrong trigger. So let's redo this, connect it to the code node. I'm gonna rename this node to get news. And then for the query, let's just do uh, crypto or bit. Or, and I'm just going to drag this over. Let's add one more actually, coin desk. Okay, so now we have everything that we want. It's basically gonna search for any articles that has to do with crypto or Bitcoin or coin desk or whatever ticker we typed in. And all the articles that we're going to be pulling are going to be sorted by popularity. So you don't have to touch that. Let's go ahead and test this step. Now that it's resulted, you can see that there's 1,054 results. And we don't want to blow through all of our credit. So let's just go ahead and filter this out and grab the article's title and a brief description. And we're going to do that by adding a code note. So type in code. Paste that in. You guys can copy this. I'll leave this in the description below as well. Uh, but let's see what it does. Instead of all this useless data, we just have the title and description. I'm gonna go back and label all my code notes since we have a lot now. So this will be filter articles. This will be combined time frames. This will be ticker format, ticker formatting. So if you're following along and you're using the link with all the codes down below, you can look at this to reference everything. This one's gonna be ticker formatting. This one will be combined time frames, and this one will be filter articles. Now we're gonna feed all those articles into an AI to analyze everything. I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna hit this plus sign right over here and then we're gonna type in open AI. We're gonna scroll down to message a model. Go ahead and connect to your account or create one if you haven't done so. It's pretty simple. For the model, we're just gonna use something simple like 4.0 mini, 4.1 mini. And for the message, we're gonna add in a system prompt. So click system for role, enlarge this. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in my prompt. Again, I'll leave this in the description below as well and it will be titled sentiment analyzer. And the prompt is basically saying, you are a highly intelligent and accurate sentiment analyzer specializing in cryptocurrency markets. Analyze the sentiment of the provided text using two-part approach. So a short-term sentiment and a long-term sentiment. And then we're given an example of how we want the output. Then I dragged over the filtered articles and just put json.stringify in front of it. Or you guys can just copy this and it should output exactly what we want. And then you want to also output the content as the json. All right, now let's test the step and see what it does. Okay, so we have our sentiment analysis. We have neutral here for a short-term sentiment. The rationale scores zero. For a long-term, it's positive, scores 0.7. And then the rationale here as well, basically saying that crypto remains positive, supported by fundamental growth and increasing institutional ad adoption. All right, it's very good. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this. So now we have the market sentiment of the coin. Now we're gonna have to merge it with all the candlestick data here. Very simple step, we did it already. Hit the plus sign, merge node again. Append to, didn't mean to execute it, but okay. Let me do this one more time. Waiting for my telegram, do it again, BTC. All right, now we have two items, see what they are. All right, we have all the candlestick data. We have our 15 minute, we have our one hour. We go all the way down, we should have our sentiment analysis. And yep, there it is. Now we need to feed it into an AI model that can analyze everything. But because this is two items, it's not going to work because we can only feed one item at a time. And we're going to need a code node. I'm going to name this the combined data node. And we're going to delete this. And I had Claude again create this code. But lucky for you guys, I'll leave it in the description below as well. All right, once we execute it, it should be one item. All right, there you go. All our data in one item. All right, this is what we've all been waiting for, the AI agent. So go ahead and add in your AI agent. We're gonna define below. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna paste in our prompt. So basically I'm giving it the ticker. Here's the combined market data for your for you to reference, feeding in the technical data, feeding in the sentiment analysis. We're gonna be looking at the long-term analysis. We're gonna give it specific instructions on how to analyze the short-term, long-term. We wanted to give us an entry price, stop loss, take profit, some leveraging recommendation, today's date, a little bit more information, Again, I'm gonna leave this all in the description below. You can use it as a foundation and kind of customize it to your own liking. All right, let's move on. Now we're gonna have to connect it to a brain. And I'm gonna go with a little bit more advanced model. We get down at the bottom where it says chat model, hit the plus sign. And we're gonna go down to OpenAI, connect to your account again. 
we're gonna use the latest model. This may use a lot of credits, but we want the best model analyzing our data to help us make the best decisions so we can make the most money. So I'm gonna go with the 4.0. But if you guys don't have any credits and you guys wanna use something cheaper, you can use Google Gemini. So let's give it a try. Google Gemini chat model. Go ahead and create an account, connect it, and then I'm gonna go with the 2.0. We went back to the AI agent and I just executed the step. Let's see what it does. All right, it's resulted and it's pretty extensive and it's way too long to be sent as a Telegram message. So we're gonna have to split this in two. And I went ahead and did that with the code node. I'm gonna title it split data. I'm gonna title it split text. This is the code, which I had Claude create and it'll be in the description below. Once you execute it, you should have two different texts here. Now we're gonna have this sent back to us as a Telegram message. So hit the plus sign, Telegram. We're gonna go with send a text message. For the chat ID, we're just gonna reference our chat trigger node. So we're gonna open this chat trigger node and we're gonna drag, drag over our, our, our ID. And the reason why it doesn't work is because we have to change item to first. All right, so now we can see the chat ID. And for the text, we're just gonna drag in over, we're gonna drag over our text from the split text node. There you go. All right, now we want to parse these items and make sure it's set to HTML. Let's go ahead and execute this step and it should send all the All right, we had an error because I dragged over the wrong chat ID. This is the actual one. We had to go down a little bit more under chat, go to ID, drag that over. Remember, we're changing item to first. All right, it should work now. The telegram should be sent over. Let's take a look. So I just typed the BTC to my crypto trading AI agent and this is what it outputted. It has spot recommendations for a short term. Action is to buy right now with an entry price of 108,950 stop loss take profits it even has rationale for primary signals lagging indicators a ton of information it even has long-term analysis which is also a buy with an entry price stop loss target profit as well as the rationale a comprehensive crypto trader right at my fingertips so this is the whole workflow if you want to see how to build a swing trading ai assistant check out this video if you want to learn more about ai or automation and how it can improve your business or life definitely check out my channel and if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe